Number 74, integrated concepts. Letter A, what voltage will accelerate electrons to a speed of 6 times 10 to the 6 meters per second? All right. So um, we're going to need a formula from a couple of chapters ago, right? We know that energy is going to equal charge multiplied by the voltage applied, okay? So what we now need to do is we now need to realize it's asking us for voltage. And the reason why I am using this formula here is because I'm thinking to myself, how can I connect speed to voltage? And I know I can connect it through energy. In other words, that um, this doesn't have to be just any old energy. I mean, it is energy, but there's several types of energy, as you know, potential, kinetic, right? Elastic potential. I mean, there's a whole bunch. So um, gravitational, blah, blah, blah. So the energy that we're really interested in is the kinetic energy here. So the kinetic energy will be equal to the charge multiplied by the voltage. So to find the voltage, all we would simply have to do is divide out the charge. Now, the nice part is that we do know the charge because it says electrons in the problem. So we do know the charge value, but what's the kinetic energy? Well, they didn't tell us the energy, but they gave us the speed, right? So how is kinetic energy and speed related? Oh, right. It's related via this formula, one half mv squared, where v here is the velocity. Don't confuse that with this is voltage. And then divide that by q, and now we have everything we need. So this is one half multiplied, and I'll do it on the uh, right hand side. So this is now going to be one half times the mass of an electron, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. That just has to be a memorized or known fact. Uh, the velocity here is six times 10 to the six meters per second. Don't forget to square it. And then divide it by the charge of 1.6 times 10 to the uh, minus uh, 19th. Okay. And uh, no, yeah, what am I talking about? Too many constants in my brain. All right, so point, and that's negative by the way, right? But who cares? 0.5 times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 <clears throat> multiplied by 6 times 10 to the 6 squared. Divide that then by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. So it's about 102 volts. 102 volts. All right. So that's the voltage. And letter B, now it says find the radius of curvature of a path of a of the path of a proton accelerated through this potential in a 0.5 Tesla field and compare that with the radius of the curvature of an electron accelerated. Okay. So we need a formula that deals with radius of curvature, right? Isn't that over here on the right hand side? Right? So that formula over there, this is for letter B, I guess, is going to be that the radius of curvature will equal the mass of the moving particle multiplied by its velocity, tangential velocity that is, divided by the charge, <coughs> uh, divided by then the strength of the magnetic field. So here, uh, in order to find the radius of curvature for a proton, we need to know the mass of a proton. That is a known and memorized constant. The velocity of a proton, well, they told it to us, right? The charge, that's memorized, and now the magnetic field, they told that to us. So guess what? We're just gonna plug it in for the proton. So radius of curvature of a proton, will be then, and actually they're saying compared to that of the radius. So they don't really want us, I guess, to calculate the actual. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do M, mass of the proton, velocity of the proton, divided by the charge of the proton, times the magnetic field that the proton is experiencing. We would have the same exact formula now, which is different subscripts for the electron, right? Mass of the electron, velocity of the electron, divided by the charge of the electron, times the magnetic field that the electron is experiencing. And now if I want to compare these two, that doesn't tell me how to exactly. So maybe I'll compare them in terms of a fraction or in terms of a ratio. So I'm going to take R, P. I want to find out how many times larger or smaller. You know, well, actually, I'd be, yeah, I'd be, it depends on if the quantity comes out to be greater than one or less than one, right? So I'm going to find the radius of curvature of the proton relative to the radius of curvature of the electron. And we'll see what that works out to be. Right, so this would be the mass of the proton times the velocity of the proton, all divided by the charge of the proton times the magnetic field of the proton, divided then by the mass of the electron times the velocity of the electron, divided by the charge of the electron times the magnetic field of the electron. Now, there's several things that are going to be constant. The velocities are constant, so they go bye-bye. The magnetic fields are constant, so they go bye-bye. So now what this basically works out to be is this is then the mass of the proton divided by the charge of the proton, divided then by the mass of the electron divided by the charge of the electron. Now these are memorized numbers, 
right? This is all just, you know, you might have a reference table, hopefully, but the mass of the proton is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th, all divided then by the charge, which is, oh, eh, that was silly too. Charges are the same, right? Charges are the same too. They're opposite in sign, but they're equal in magnitude. So see you later, charges. So guess what? This thing simplifies even more, right? So it's the mass of the proton, mass of the proton, divided by the mass of the electron. And there it is. So this is going to be 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th, divided by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. And as we can see, it should be greater than 1 because the mass is larger, so therefore the cur curvature, the radius of curvature should also be larger. So 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th divided by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. And I get a value of about, so this is about 1,800 and 30 to 1. So it's going to be about 1,830 times larger. Okay, you can also calculate the magnitudes if you wanted. You just, all you would do is just plug in the numbers here and then you get the actual value. But, you know, that's that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out and subscribe if you can. We appreciate it and we'll see you soon. Take care.